Welcome. This presentation is for Challenge America applicants, past or present, who may be interested in applying to our principal grants program, Grants for Arts Projects. Grants for Arts Projects is the new name for what was previously known as Artworks. We'll look at the key differences between Grants for Arts Projects and Challenge America. Grants for Arts Projects has many more flexibilities, and you might decide it's a better fit for your project. Challenge America offers support primarily to small and mid-sized organizations for projects that extend the reach of the arts to underserved populations. Those whose opportunities to experience the arts are limited by geography, ethnicity, economics, or disability. Only three types of projects are eligible, guest artists, collaborative marketing campaigns, and public art projects. It can be challenging to make sure that the project you are applying for fits within the project type requirements and is also extending the reach of the arts to an underserved population. In Challenge America, grants are for $10,000 only, and funding is all or nothing. Challenge America has only one deadline per year. This year it's on April 9th. And if you've just received three consecutive years of Challenge America funding, for example, in fiscal years 2018, 2019, and 2020, you must sit out of the competition for an entire year. In this case, you may not apply to Challenge America in fiscal year 2021, but you can apply to Grants for Arts projects. This rule is unique to Challenge America. Given these restrictions, you may decide that Grants for Arts projects is a better option for your project. Here are some distinctions to consider. Grants for Arts Projects funds a wide variety of projects, including those for underserved communities. All three projects funded through Challenge America are eligible in Grants for Arts Projects, but without the same scope limitations or fixed definition of underserved. If you want to apply for one of these projects, or another kind of project that benefits underserved audiences, you should consider Grants for Arts projects and weigh the additional options that this program provides. Grants for Arts projects applicants and grantees vary in size and fiscal capacity, so you won't be at a disadvantage if you're a smaller or mid-sized organization. Projects may be large or small, existing or new, and may take place in any of the nation's 50 states, DC, and US territories. Finally, Grants for Arts Projects has two deadlines each year, this year on February 13th, 2020, and July 9th, 2020. You may choose the time frame that works best for your project and organization. This category also has a much larger grant range, starting at $10,000 and going all the way up to $100,000. Within this range, you can decide what figure is best for your project instead of the all or nothing $10,000 Challenge America grant amount. Both programs have the same dollar for dollar cost share requirements, and applicants that are successful in Grants for Arts projects vary in size and fiscal capacity, just like in Challenge America. Both programs have the same eligibility requirements. Applicants must be nonprofit, tax exempt 501c3 U.S. organizations, units of state or local government, or federally recognized tribal communities or tribes. Applicants must have a three year history of arts programming by the application deadline. Both programs have a similar application submission process. They have the same two-part deadline process using grants.gov and our applicant portal. Application questions and work sample requirements are similar. And both categories have re review criteria based on artistic excellence and artistic merit. In fact, Grants for Arts projects include some of the very same considerations under these review criteria, including the potential to reach underserved communities. Given the similarities, it's not surprising that many Challenge America applicants have been successful in both categories. This year, Grants for Arts Projects applications will be accepted on February 13, 2020, for projects starting as early as January 1, 2021, and on July 9, 2020, for projects starting as early as June 1, 2021. A guidelines presentation devoted entirely to Grants for Arts projects is archived on our website, arts.gov. 
Don't hesitate to reach out to us if you'd like more information. Thank you.